Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. Today we will be discussing the game between CSK and Rajasthan Royals. An absolutely uh, demoralizing, upsetting victory for for Chennai Super Kings. And equally, um, on, on for, for Rajasthan, this looks like a like a victory that will really step them up towards that playoff challenge. With with uh, four teams at six points, it's it's still not over for them. But uh, for CSK, things not looking very good at all. Your your thoughts, Musti, on this one? Uh, I mean, a royal spanking, uh, just the victory that Rajasthan needed. Uh, the players stepped up. Uh, finally, Butler, I've been saying this guy is probably the best T20 batsman in the international game right now. Uh, apart from AB, AB is retired, so I'm not going to... AB is the best player, but I'm just saying after yeah. AB, yeah. in terms of T20 cricket, this guy is an amazing cricketer. A new position. Uh, he's normally opens the batting for Rajasthan, but like he's shown he can bat anywhere. And um, he came in a pressure situation. I think... Uh, 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 CSK made some early inroads and they were back into the game. Three early wickets, but uh, a lot. We saw Steve Smith struggling, but it was like Butler was batting on a different pitch, similar to what we see AB do. Uh, beautiful shots, uh, rotated the strike, didn't consume too many balls. He took the pressure off Smith, uh, and his range is just unbelievable. Uh, and credit to the Rajasthan bowlers to st- set up this win. Like um, uh, it was, it was an easy. It wasn't the hardest target to chase. 126. I think the board really well. Archer again has been superb. And this time the spinners backed him. I think Gopal and yeah. Tewatia both were really good. They picked up uh, a, a wicket each, but like the economy was really good. Uh, they made it difficult for Dhoni and Jadeja. I think uh, Chennai had a platform like with Dhoni and Jadeja making the partnership, but they just didn't have the firepower. And, you know, it's been an unfortunate season for them. It looks like it's going to end. They won't make the playoffs. But yeah, just they don't, they didn't have that firepower. I mean, I don't know what it is, but yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think uh, uh, this this kind of really knocks them down. Um, they will they are now last position, which you which you're not really used to seeing in Chennai. Uh, like even you know they, usually you see many other teams, but not Chennai. Uh, and this is kind of the victory. Uh, this is kind of a loss that really you know will will like and even kind of Dhoni after the post match he was talking about the process. Usually you know some results don't go your way, but he was talking about the process. So he's a little bit worried about the way things are being uh, are being done in that CSK camp as well, which is not a very good sign. Uh, but they just didn't get going today. I mean, uh, up front they were poor. They, they I mean, they they had a they had a few good moments with the ball, but apart from that, I think uh, uh, yes, Butler and uh, Smith Smith played very well. But I don't think that they really had any chances. They didn't have. They lacked that that uh, initiative, that vigor. I felt like today they, it, it, we I, we I would not I was not able to see that as much. You you felt like that too. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, there was a lack of firepower in this team. Yeah. Like, um, uh, one thing which is, uh, like, you know, um, people talk about, like, you know, in, uh, what suits them is, like, those spinning tracks in Chennai, uh, those lower sco- low-scoring games. And even you mentioned, um, yeah. like, you know, their spinners will tighten the grip as the tournament progresses. But do you just, do you feel that their players are just past their peak? Because they still have a good team. Uh, I mean, they still have players who, who can use these conditions well, but they're just not doing it. So do you just think a lot of the players, such as Watson, such as Dhoni, um, uh, like do you, and like even maybe Kedar Jadav and Raidu as well, do you think they've passed their peak and that's why they're struggling? I think so. You have to see, you have to think that, right? I mean, what what else what else could it possibly be? It just feels like... Uh, you can't really like, uh, see the pitches because it does suit them. Yeah, exactly. It's it, it starting to suit them for sure. So it's just, it just it just feels like you know. I mean, uh, a Dhoni of the past would really have even in that kind of a situation come in and give you a respectable one forty, one fifty to play with, right? Uh, because one twenty five is is hardly anything. Uh, or or for example, uh, the the Pius Chavla of the past would have given you a couple of wickets really quickly as soon as he jumps in. The Jadu would 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 be able to really grip the ball uh, and, and grip the surface and like the ball would grip on the surface and you'd see some turn with him as well. So you 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 really saw none of that I, i'm not saying jadu is past his prime probably just a lone survivor he's he's younger of the lot but i felt like pius chavla is it seems a little bit off color yeah uh, there's there's that issue because he's your highest wicket taking in the uh, wicket taker in the ipl so you see that little bit of issue over there um in the batting front you see watson it's he's just he's just not there he's mm. just he's not like he used to be you see I mean, he he used to fail before too, but he'd give you one one good performance here and there. We've been we've we've seen a, a lot less of that. Ambadi Raidu just doesn't look like he's the same player after that uh, World Cup permission. Unfortunately, just uh, um, this first time you're seeing him, of course, after that. So it's he's just really not. Um, uh, he's he, he doesn't feel that he's in it. So it's just like all these 
important players for the CSK who've been doing it for the past two three years have, have been struggling. So it's unfortunate, but that's I think that's what it is, and and it's just a matter of them now trying to uh, salvage some pride over here and maybe get a couple more wins to just keep this. Um, uh, game. I mean, it's just going to play for pride. I don't think that they make the playoffs now with four games left. They need to win all four and have hope. A, a lot of the other uh, uh, others fall in their favor, but I think that they are probably now out of the tournament. First yeah, de- tournament. definitely. I think, like, you know, look, they make the playoffs every year. Uh, this is the first time they're not making it a successful team. But I think the biggest problem for them, which other teams who don't make the playoffs won't really have, is that they have to do a proper garage clean out. Like, they'll have to yeah. uh, do a proper restructuring, like, change the whole face of the team. And it's not going to be easy because, you know, you're like, like someone like Sunrisers, for example, we follow them closely. Yes, they're not doing that well this season, but it's a good mix between youth and experience, right? Uh, um, even uh, like a Rajasthan, it, it's like that. Even in a Punjab, uh, there's like a Gale, but then there's like a youngster like Rahul leading the pack. You know, yeah. every team has a balance. These guys don't have that balance. And it's, yes, you have a Sam Curran, and he's been your best player. But you should have invested more in players like that, and maybe yeah. local Indians as well. So I think that's going to be a huge problem for them uh, going forward. But um, you, if the auction comes and like you know they have the cash, they can do it. But yeah, they'll need to think about it because you know then that team, it's a new team, they'll have to gel they won't have like a core guy there so i think that's one thing they should have thought about before but yeah it's unfortunate like i i honestly expected them not to make the playoffs this season i've been saying this because of their form age uh pitches and other teams as well the strengths of other teams putting everything together i didn't feel like i think uh you know the position i'm not surprised with the position they're in uh but yeah it's going to be difficult for them yeah, they are proving you right. Uh, I, I kind of, I was tipping them to make the playoffs this season, but of course, uh, things have not gone in their favor at all this season. And it's just unfortunate. I mean, it is what it is, I guess, right? So it's like you know, uh, you're pushing it on the last, like you know, you you have like the last inch of uh, gas in your car, like petrol, yeah, and yeah. you're like trying to use that to go on, like you know, on the highway and stuff. It's difficult. Like you need to, you should refuel a bit before. You know what I mean? That's what they I should agree. have done. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. I think that's that's a fair point. Uh, uh, they just, I mean, Sam. Current was an addition that that I, that was was a decent addition, but still just too few too too few of those newer additions and the and the older guys not able to step it up is has has really hurt them. Uh, but in terms of uh, Rajasthan, this was this would be a good victory for them. I mean, bowling well, like you said, batting well, uh, the the bigger bigger big guys, except for Stokes, who still needs to come to the party. But uh, the likes of Butler and Smith uh, showing even Smith showed in the last game. Butler showed it this game. Uh, Smith supported. I mean, like you said, they were they were a little bit of a spot of bother with that three wickets, quick wickets. But these two champions were able to kind of uh, weather the storm and and get a good victory with two, three overs left and that gives them a nice jump on their uh, run rate as well. Yeah, they needed one player to step up and finish the game and that's exactly what Butler did. Yeah. But yes, there are problems there. Uh, with Stokes, I feel that um, his intention is amazing. He's coming out and he's swinging hard, but like uh, maybe it's a matter of clicking or he just needs to uh, rotate a bit more. Uh, maybe not be too aggressive to look at the pitch, but I think um, his intention is correct. Samson, I don't know what's happened to him. Uh, again, it, it, there's nothing good about the ball down the leg side. Uh, um, gave it to Dhoni. Like, there's like something wrong in his mind. It's not about. It's not that he's struggling with the bat or any. Like, it's not that. It's I think yeah. a, ment- a mental yeah. issue he needs to work on. Needs to be more consistent that way. So much talent. Um, and then Smith. I think he struggled big time today. He was playing a test match, but <laughs> you could see like the partnership he had with Butler. It was perfect for the uh, occasion for the match situation because if yeah. he got out, it put so much pressure on Devati and Parag. So exactly. you don't want that. So you wanted exactly. Smith to stay the, uh, till the end, no matter how his strike rate was poor. But uh, if you look at the match situation, it was perfect. So uh, yeah. I think he, he handled that well. But yes, when they're um, uh, chasing a higher target, he'll need to uh, step up. Uh, but Butler played the perfect game and uh, I think, yeah, player of the match. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, definitely a player of the match for him. And uh, the only thing that I would like to see this Rajasthan t- team do in terms of the batting is maybe switch between Butler and Stokes. Is continue with Butler to I agree with Stokes, that. Bring it, bring it I at number agree five. With that. I know he's a he's a better batsman than number five for T Twenties, but I think that just for the sake of the way the game is being played now, he's he's struggling a little bit at the top, and uh, Butler is now ha- has had that breakout kind of uh, to- innings now. So maybe he's he's gonna really pull his weight in the next few games. So I think I'd the like only, to see that happen. I think the only reason they went with this, uh, in my opinion, is because I think Butler is a better player of spin, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, that's the only reason they might, but but Stokes can clear any ground uh, yeah. and he's the finisher so I agree with you but I'm just telling you their thinking process what yeah. I feel yeah. they're thinking uh, but I agree with you 100% I think Stokes is the finisher he can change the game around and uh, the, uh, mentally he's so strong so in a pressure yeah. situation he can take you out and guide the youngsters as well whereas Butler can do that but I think his uh, utilization at the top will be even more crucial because if he gets you off to a flyer we saw what he did to Nokia like even though he got yeah. out if he yeah. gets you off a flyer like that um it's game over right so exactly. especially if he plays a long inning so i think i agree with you in that sense but one thing they'll be really happy about this game is their spinners coming into play a hundred percent because yeah. they're not the most famous or the like the greatest spinners uh, in this uh, tournament yeah. like uh, but they came up to the they came they support uh, archer uh, they supported archer and they dried up the runs uh, with Dhoni and Jirija who are good players of spin so I think right. uh, a magnificent effort from them that'll give them a lot of confidence and it'll give Archer confidence as well absolutely yep definitely that that is something that they they, they were looking to uh, to uh, uh, to do and that's what has happened and Shane Warne is is probably giving them some tips that's probably helping because he's he's with them as well uh, with that being said I think you've also mentioned the player of the match uh, as Butler I think I think there's nobody else that you can possibly um, go for because he really like Took the game of uh, of the scruffs and really made them made them victorious very very comfortably in the end. So hats off to Butler and uh, you've been a fan of him. I've been a fan of him. So it's just nice to see that kind of a performance. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think uh, that wraps up today's game. Uh, that <laughs> it yeah. was an interesting sort of game. But tomorrow, quick the, game compared to last yeah. week, yesterday. Yeah. A quicker game, definitely. Yeah. Quicker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One-sided. Yeah. I think we needed that. I said we needed a little <laughs> a break. Yeah. But um, moving on to tomorrow, the rejuvenated Kings eleven taking on the top of the table Delhi Capitals. That's going to be a fun game to see. Mm-hmm. If Kings can win this one, I mean that just suddenly really changes things around for them because they beat the, they beat Mumbai, which is a strong side, and then they go and beat Delhi. Then that's going to really really charge them up to move into the last part four or five games of the season. Definitely, definitely. Mission Impossible has started. Uh, I, I I live in Mini Punjab. I, I live in Canada, but it's uh, the, where I live. It's Mini Punjab. Everyone's buzzing after yesterday's game. Uh, I can feel the positive vibes. Uh, uh, I think uh, they will go all out in this game. Uh, it'll be a very interesting game. But uh, I just feel now there's momentum uh, on their side uh, with two wins in a row, especially after that Super Over win. Uh, but it's gonna go down to the last ball, whatever position. It's Punjab playing, so it's gonna be <laughs> last ball finish whatever the position is they'll make sure they take it to the last ball but yes they'll need to be a, a, they, now they need to know that listen we have the team we can beat teams we just need to be more convincing like for their own like heart rate but yes it's Absolutely. going to be a cracker of a game delhi uh, on the other hand have played magnificently in this tournament i think uh, i find them uh, like a better team i mean in this tournament I, I find them a better team than mumbai because they had more injuries to bigger players yeah. Uh, uh, like a Rishabh Pant, like a Mishra, like uh, important players, Ishan Sharma, who they, they would have played. Uh, Mumbai haven't had that yet. Mumbai has been exceptional cricket, but I just think Delhi has been the team. Like despite injuries, the way uh, um, Ayer has led, the way Ponting has got his boys like uh, all uh, up for this tournament. I think they've played wonderful cricket. It's going to be an exciting contest, but it yeah. looks, uh, I think a win for Punjab will uh, split open the league. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to be fun to see. But your place to watch out for in his game? Uh, I can't go past K- uh, KL Rahul. I don't think uh, I can go past that. Yes, there's Gail and Agarwal there as well. But Rahul has just been in form of his life. Uh, yeah. It'll be nice to see if he can finish off the game. But uh, he's just playing incredible. Uh, he's been incredible this tournament. And for yeah. Delhi, uh, I think uh, Rabada will be key uh, against the top three. If if he can get a couple of wickets in his first two overs, uh, that's the matchup I want to watch. If he can get uh, Rahul Agarwal and Gail out, or one of the, one of the three, or two of the three, I think that will uh, tilt the game in Delhi's favor. So that'll be a matchup to watch for you. Yep, I agree. Um, for me, uh, Gail Storm, I mean, Universe Boss, I can't go past him. I just always would like to see him play, like to see him perform. And those couple of games that he's had uh, under his belt now, so he's like, if, if there was any rustiness in there, that's kind of starting to clean out. So I'm just waiting. I didn't to expect him to start off like this, though. I didn't that's expect what I thought him. too. Yeah. yeah, so hats off to him. Unbelievable. Uh, 
uh, the legend legend speaks when the legend speaks you hear so that's kind of <laughs> what i like about gail so it's always nice to see that and on the on delhi's front i want to see ash you know ash is one of my most favorite uh, bowlers of all time <laughs> uh, i i i just love his guy i just love his uh, enthusiasm his his excitement towards the game of cricket uh i think he's been unfortunate with the indian team i've always mentioned that a, a few times but it is what it is but i like to see him continue to perform for delhi yeah nice and with these pitches that. he will be effective uh, i'm predicting because if it's a close game which i think it will be i'm predicting a man kid uh for oh. sure from uh, from australia because he's already warned all of us <laughs> so i I'm, uh, i'm predicting him against his old team that will be amazing <laughs> oh that's 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 some heated stuff right there <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing uh, i'll yeah. put some money on that it'd be fun to see that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that that would be great if that happens uh yeah i i would i would love to see that happen i i i think it's i think it's within the rules i think it should happen i don't think that there's any issue with that at all uh if 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 someone's taking undue advantage you should be man card i don't think that there is any discussion about that at all all yeah. all of that spirit of the game stuff is 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 beyond me i don't understand why they do that yeah, yeah. i i'm clear on this as well i w- i was uh, like in doubt last year but this year i've changed my mind i'm like yeah you should man card now that he's given you a warning he's, he's told the whole world now he's tweeted it yeah. he said everything it happens again i mean he's he's only it's only fair that he does that yeah we they get an unfair advantage but um are you predicting another super over I'm not predicting another super <laughs> I think I I'm I am predicting a Delhi dominant win and Punjab oh, going wow. back to going back home. <laughs> Pretty Zintas in the house man they're going to win that like That uh, is the <laughs> only thing that's making that work. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I, I, to be honest, this Delhi team has impressed me the most. I love watching them. It'll be nice. I I just feel that the momentum is on Punjab side, and Delhi yeah. might have a loss in them. But yeah. uh, I won't be surprised with your prediction either because they've been yeah. a dominant side this tournament. Yeah, I think that Punjab is going to be the second team to get out of the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> 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 But we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think sure. that wraps up everything. Uh, looking forward to game tomorrow, and we'll see you after. Thank you so much, man. See you tomorrow. Take care. Always take care.